What's up everybody, I'm Evan Centapani on behalf of Animal, and today I'm giving you my five bodybuilding commandments. Now, we live in a time where information is everywhere. It's all over social media, it's all over the internet, it is right at your fingertips, and somehow, amazingly, by the time it's all said and done, you're more confused and you feel like you know even less than when you started. <laughs> As a wise man once said, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. What I'm about to tell you is so simple in nature, so easy, okay, that I'm giving you something you cannot mess up. If you listen to what I'm about to tell you, you should be well on your way to achieving your goals, okay? It should get you at least 90% of the way there. Sit down, buckle up. These are my five bodybuilding commandments. First and foremost, hydration. Again, this isn't new, this isn't exciting, this isn't sexy, but you know how many people I train, how many people I coach that screw up just this one fundamental thing, okay, not being hydrated enough. You should be consuming at minimum one half of an ounce per pound of body weight each day. If you're a 250 pound bodybuilder, that's 125 ounces at minimum, right? Muscles, we all know, at least 70% water, guys. <laughs> before you get into all these advanced training methods okay and high-tech supplements uh, and, and all this wonderful stuff just drink your water okay stay hydrated number two when it comes to nutrition whole foods okay single ingredient foods at that now, what do I mean I'm talking about uh, not food products I'm talking about chicken breast is a single ingredient food. A potato is a single ingredient food. Make those foods the foundation of your diet and use those foods to derive your one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Again, for a 250 pound bodybuilder, it's 250 grams of protein per day at minimum. Next up, my third commandment, you got to get your sleep. All right, guys, six hours a night is the absolute minimum. Eight would be much, much more ideal for most of us. Uh, I understand everybody's working hard, maybe you have kids, but make time for the things that are important, all right? Get your rest. You cannot recover without adequate sleep. You need it both mentally and physically to be at your best. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, shows on TV, people are staying up late watching different series. Guys, switch it off, get off social media, even though you're on it listening to me right now. Get off social media, go to sleep. Got to get your sleep in. Next up, when it comes to training, my fourth commandment, you have to consistently train hard. Okay, we're talking about consistency and we're talking about intensity. Very important. Uh, for me, five days a week, but you know something? Even if you went to the gym three days a week and you weight trained, okay, but you go really, really hard on those three days, you will get the majority of the way to where you want to go but you need the intensity and you need to do it consistently. You can't do it for a week, you can't do it for a month and then fall off. You gotta do this week in and week out, month after month, year after year, and you will get to where you want to go. My fifth and final commandment, stop doing things that sabotage your progress. All right, that could mean recreational drugs, that could mean alcohol, that could be staying out late and partying, that could even be hanging out with toxic people. <laughs> <laughs> we all know people that we need to banish from our lives because they bring us down, all right? They're bad influence. Uh, they, they add stress to our lives. They're not helping us. Uh, quit the people and quit the things that are inhibiting your progress. Those are my commandments. Hydrate, eat, train, sleep and stop doing things that sabotage your progress. Do those things and you will get to where you wanna go. Don't worry about all the little details, just focus on that and you will get there.